Now, I don't call the week leading up to this game Ravens Week. That's sacrilegious. Around Easter, you have your Holy Week, and the other 51 weeks out of the year are Steelers Weeks. Huh? No, Mom, we don't got no tissues. Yes, we just blow our nose in old Mike Wallace jerseys. It's cheaper to buy them than it is Kleenex here in Pittsburgh. I use Mike Wallace jerseys for damn near anything. Scratch paper, write down the lottery numbers on air. You can wash your car with a Mike Wallace jersey. I use Miss Clinton Cle for the fireplace. I was down Marshall's the other day. Jeez Louise, they, they was printing receipts out on them jerseys. Yeah, we was down at Pizza Hut. I was pulling Mike Wallace jerseys out of a napkin dispenser. We went down to Red Lobsters. They don't even use bibs no more. Mike Wallace jerseys. Now, it's Steve Smith. The SR on the back of his jersey stands for senior. He ain't doing that so he can get a discount down at Bob Evans. Nah, Deb, Ray Lewis is retired. Now, I don't think he murdered anybody else after football. The only thing he was killing was ESPN's ratings. <laughs> Who the hell is calling me? Oh, Tom. What do you want, Tom? Yeah, 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 I know the Ravens beat us twice last year, so what? Hey, Tom, what do the Ravens in Sandcastle Water Park have in common? Season-long slides. Come on, do something. Anybody. Is Antonio Brown wearing camouflage? Because I ain't seen him do nothing. There's more action in an episode of Golden Girls than this. Especially with Blanche. She's always getting the action. And all them old guys come over wearing just suit top and pants that don't match. Wicker furniture. What? Three and at. Three and at. Three and at. Three and at. Well, hold on, Deb, they did do something. Ben threw an interception. At least it ain't a three and at. That's a one and at. You know what? Everybody in the house is grounded. I don't care what for, just make up a reason. I tell you, Ben's always a little bit off when he plays over at that Ravens Mr. T-Bank Stadium. That's like me when I go shopping over at that other giant eagles by Graham's house. Oh, I don't know where nothing is. I can't find the dressings. I can't find the mustard. Someone straighten his team out. There's too many penalties. How the hell did Jins get two penalties during a commercial break? There's more flags in this game than a Memorial Day parade. Oh, now they come alive at the end of the game. I tell you, I want the 48 seconds left to go in the game, Steelers, to play the entire game for once. No, hold on, Dad. They're going to be kicking an onside kick. What? What, what? what the hell is that? What does that mean? Oh, what kind of kick is that? Are you kicking a ball or are you tap dancing with it? Jeez, I didn't see Fred Astaire come out. Jason, did he breathe on it? I could, I could have breathed on the ball. It would have went further. Jeez. Ugh, embarrassing. Another Ravens win. Another week I can't go outside. Don't answer that. It's Tom. He's coming to gloat. No, Tom. Hey, Tom. Did you know they put the word jag off in a dictionary? Yeah, just go to the J's and there's a big picture of you in there. Did the team bus drive through Cleveland on the way to Baltimore? It's got that brine stench all over you. I'll tell you right now, the reason the Indians lost the last two games of the World Series is because they played them in Cleveland, where the brine's loser scent could get all over them. That loser scent just sits stagnant in the air. It's, it's like humidity. The brines are like that black smoke monster from Lost. When you touch it, you lost. <laughs>